Okay. So something I gotta say. So if you guys didn't know, besides being a DJ full time, I'm an audio sound tech at a venue here in Las Vegas. And last night was kind of the last straw. <sighs> so we had an event last night that I was sound teching for, and man, some of these DJs definitely she got me in my fist. And for one reason and one reason alone, and I'm sick and tired of seeing the same thing happen over and over, and it's just not good. DJs, please stop pushing the level on the mixer. Stop redlining. You don't redline to headline. That doesn't work in a lot of situations. Most situations, almost actually never should you really be redlining on the channel or on the master as well. It just makes you sound like trash. If it's not loud enough, ask the audio tech to turn it up for you on the other side, on their end. Because if you're just pushing the volume on the mixer, if it doesn't start distorting because you're just cranking it so high, if they have something called the limiter on the back end, all it's gonna do is make the music sound actually softer and lower and sound weird to the crowd. You're not gaining anything by cranking it all the way up and you're hitting every single LED light on the channel from green, yellows, all the way to the top red. I've seen so many DJs do it. And to the point where if I'm audio teching and I'm turning down your trim or your gain on your channel because you're going too, too hot and then I step back for a second and you come back and crank it back up. What makes you think that cranking it back up is a good thing and the right thing to do? I obviously turned it down for a reason and that's not because I'm trying to take the light or you know the shine away from you and I don't want the crowd to hear you. No, it's because I want you as an audio tech to sound as best as you can because if you sound good, that means I'm doing my job because if it's cranked up and it doesn't sound good, the crowd's not gonna like it and they're not gonna like your set as much and that's just the truth. So, all the DJs out there, once again, not to sound like a grumpy old man, but please, be aware of your levels. You know, you're touching the mixer all the time, just take a quick look down. See where the LED lights are, see where, you know, you're sitting on your level, on your channel, and your master. Just make sure, you know, it's a healthy signal somewhere in the yellow a little bit, and just right out with that. If it's too low, maybe turn up the master a little bit. If, if that's not doing it and that's cranking and hitting the red, ask the audio tech to turn it up for you. There's just ways around it to get it done right and make you sound better. Cranking everything up, cranking the booth up, cranking the master up all the way, it's not gonna work 99.99% .99 of the time. You're just gonna get worse results. So once again, <laughs> speaking for all my audio techs, sound techs, AV guys out there, we're not turning down your gains. We're not adjusting your master to take the shine away from you or to make the crowd not be able to hear you because that's just the you know opposite of what we're trying to achieve. We want you to sound good so everyone has a good time because that's our job, to make sure the system sounds good, to make sure you sound good so you rock the party and everyone just enjoys themselves. So please do us a favor and help us out by just staying out of the red, man. It's not that hard, I promise you. And you'll sound better for it and you'll get a better reaction for it, I promise. So on that note, that's all I got for this week. Just had to get that off my chest. <sighs> all right, catch y'all next week on the vlog.